mwaminifu wake meja Benan Odiambo Otieno kisha kwamba bendera hizi ziko tayari Kwa heshima naomba sote tusimame kwa kipindi cha maombi. Pray that they may be an abiding symbol of our duty to us, our president and our country, and a sign of our resolve to guard, preserve, and sustain the great tradition of bravery and self-sacrifice of which we are the proud inheritors. This we ask in the name of God, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Who are the Lord of all blessings, Graciously hear our humble prayer and bless your heavenly blessing, these colors which you have been prepared for use in the peace and war time. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Yes. We pray that we may be an abiding symbol of our duty to us, our president and our country, and a sign of our resolve to guard, preserve, and sustain the great tradition of bravery and this you are heavenly blessing, this cut, which you have been prepared for use in peace, and also holds their trust in you. ambazo utaweza kutunuku siku ya leo kwa ajili ya ulinzi wa taifa kuweza kuchukua bendera ya rais hivi sasa ni meja chacha ya matiko na bendera iliyo fahari ya kituo hiki cha jeshi letu la maji cha Manda meja clip picha da pia Your Excellency I now kindly request you to officially present the Kenya Navy Base Manda Bay with the presidential and regimental colors. Your Excellency, sir. Tianza na bendera ya rais. Ushakaye beba bendera hii, Luteni Nurdin Juma. Na kupeana ishma yake,
kuweza kuelekea hapa bendera ya pili bendera hiyo fahari ya kikosi hiki cha manda cha jeshi letu naona maji kuweza kumpokeza afisa huyu luteni Josphat Manu Asante sana mheshimiwa rais kwa kuweza kutuelekeza vyema na kutukabidhi bendera hizi tutakazotumia every day each and every one of you in ways both large and small you embody the very best of Kenya you are the vanguards of our democracy and guarantors of our security our peace and freedoms indeed as your proud commander in chief and on behalf of an entirely and eternally grateful nation i thank you for your committed and loyal service to our motherland ladies and gentlemen we are aware of the ever changing security landscape the myriad of security threats that we face, and more importantly, what it means to our continued national quest to sustain our development agenda without external disruption. Accordingly, a responsive and fully established military installation of this nature, especially in our coastal region, is vital. The Kenya Navy Base Manda is of utmost significance in enhancing our counterterrorism efforts and also our maritime security. Besides protecting our country's port infrastructure, in addition, this base boosts security in the region and also guards vital trade routes that are the lifeblood of international commerce. Ladies and gentlemen, 21st Maritime Security calls for a responsive, multilateral approach. And we shall continue to actively engage with our partners so as to set up Kenya's naval cap capability so that our nation, and indeed our region, continue to enjoy peace and security, which is the foundation for greater sustained social economic development. In keeping, therefore, with the impeccable tradition in our defense forces, I today implore you all to continue serving with diligence and with utmost dedication. We will continue to support you with the tools and resources that you need to defend our nation and to secure our interests as a nation. And this is a moment of national pride. It is a moment of historic significance to the Kenya Defense Forces and it is indeed significant in terms of our defense posture in the context of the geostrategic imperative at the national, regional, and global levels. This base at Manda is a critical focal point for our sacred national duty of defending our sovereignty maintaining our territorial integrity, securing our borders, and preserving our cherished freedoms and our way of life. Given the growing investment in this part of our country and the promise of the maritime domain, Manda is an invaluable listening and watching tower for Kenya and Kenyans. And this is a moment of national pride. It is a moment of historic significance 
to the Kenya Defense Forces, and it is indeed significant in terms of our defense posture in the context of the geostrategic imperative at the national, regional, and global levels. This base at Manda is a critical focal point for our sacred national duty of defending our sovereignty, maintaining our territorial integrity, securing our borders, and preserving our cherished freedoms and our way of life. Given the growing investment in this part of our country and the promise of the maritime domain, Manda is an invaluable listening and watching tower for Kenya and Kenyans. Our security as a country is ultimately a shared responsibility and all of us have a role to play. The multifaceted security challenges that we face demand greater cooperation between our security agencies. At present, a compartmentalized view of security is no longer acceptable, nor is it tenable. Equally important to appreciate is that the risk of ensuring that we remain safe, free, and prosperous is not a duty borne solely by the government and security agencies. Our communities, and indeed every citizen, must also play their part. And I therefore call upon all our communities and the leadership to collaborate with security agencies to achieve the success that we all desire as Kenyans. Ladies and gentlemen, the coastal region features infrastructure of national as well as international importance. The Lapset project and road improvements from Hindi through to Baragoni, Bodei, Baure, and Kiunga are currently ongoing. And we are steadfastly committed to making the Boni area a peaceful and stable economic hub. These infrastructure projects will support the livelihoods of thousands of our people within this region. And accordingly, it is essential to involve the locals in resolving any underlying challenges that would limit the region from deriving the full benefits of our national investments in those areas. Ladies and gentlemen, the price of peace, security, and progress is internal vigilance. We must never let our guard down or become complacent. As I conclude my remarks, I want to once again thank each and every one of you for being our watchers, guardians, our sword and shield. Through your sterling efforts, Kenya has the necessary defense and security environment for greater development and prosperity for all our people. So to you, I once again say, Asante Sana, Hongera, Kenya Navy Base, Manda Bay, Hongera KDF, Mungu awabariki nyote, na Mungu aendelee kuilinda taifa letu la Kenya.